man. We... Pow, man. We back at it. You know what's going on, man. We at it with another video, man. I ain't gonna lie. I was just looking at shit to watch, and somehow uh, Nas even came from New York. One of the drill rap niggas shit popped up right here. So I was like, you know what? Let's see what this is about. Don't listen to this nigga. You just never heard of him before. So we just gonna jump straight into it and see what's going on. The title really caught my attention. Explain why a gun should be illegal in New York. If niggas don't know, and if y'all don't care, suck my dick. I'm from Jersey, so guns, I think, I'm pretty sure they, they, they legal now. Open and carry and conceal and shit like that. It's open and carry. I'm not mistaken. They're gonna throw you through some fucking loopholes. But go get your shit. If you don't got no record or nothing like that, go get your shit. Before, you used to only be, first of all, New Jersey and New York are one of the strictest, have one of the strictest, like, shit on guns. Like, you can get you can get your gun license and shit like that, but it's gonna have to be in the crib. And then the self defense shit is so fucking finicky, bro. As you can see, look, situation with K Flock, even if it's a legal burn or whatever the case may be, you see his situation. Nigga is sitting. He's gonna sit like that regardless, but he's sitting even longer than usual because he's he's in New York and he, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly. I don't know what these niggas is out here doing. Don't care. But work. Let's see what he gotta say. Let's see if this nigga, you know what I'm saying, speaking some shit. Question, right? Question. There was a subway shooting and, and off rip, not even gonna lie to you, niggas said when Brad make me believe that niggas is broke, it's pop, but you know, no, let me not talk about niggas that early, got more money than me, right? I ain't gonna go bad for a bad, would you big dog? <laughs> Word. Manhattan, I think probably like six months ago. Yeah. And, and the mayor, um, you know, there's a lot of laws that, you know, like I said before, they, they trying to make the law to where though people can carry in certain places. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen that shit too. That that would be, that would be, like, yeah, I consider it. Yeah, that, that's fire. But for all life, might as well just make it legal, bro. Just that nah, shit. No. And even if they do make it legal, right? There are gonna be certain precautions, procedures, and there are only gonna be certain people who are gonna be allowed to have these said weapons. If it if it hypothetically ever was to happen. For the simple fact that shit is not, New York is too small and they don't want that shit to be a wild, wild west. Same thing with Jersey, bro. Jersey is, it's okay, it's not as compact as New York, but it damn it is close to. So it's like, they want to keep it controlled, bro. Like, look at like shit like Texas, Atlanta, Florida, all these different places. This shit is the wild, wild west because this shit is legal anywhere and everywhere there. You can go get a gun from the store like you're going to get candy. And it's given this shit is a little bit more spread out or whatever the case may be, but that shit is way too easy. It's way too easy to get illegal guns, so imagine illegal ones. You know what I'm saying? They want to make sure, all right, if you do say get this weapon, we're going to make sure that you get processed correctly. So if this shit is brandished, fired, or whatever the case may be, focus. We on your ass, bro. Or Just make it legal for the whole family. Because, like I said, Every time they take one off, there's a new one being added. So it's like all That's of them, every time an incident gonna keep happening, they're gonna keep saying they wanna do this and do that. Just make it legal for all of us, bro. For certain people that don't got no record or whatever that's going right. on, go ahead, do what you gotta do. And then you to protect me? yourself. And that's my biggest thing, bro. I'm not saying niggas need to walk around on some cocky, cocky shit. Uh, like, niggas need to literally be able to protect themselves, bro. Places like, again, places like New York and all these places in Jersey, it's small, it's compact, bro. It's easy to catch a stray. You don't gotta be in the streets. You can be literally guilty by associating affiliated, bro. And it's that fact. You live over there? Yeah, bro, I live over there. Yo, we with the Boom. Now what? Like, niggas, niggas is booming shit just like that, bro. Oh, you from over there now? Same shit, bro, with, with, with. It's guilty by association, bro. Your family, whatever the case may be. So it's important, my nigga. Man, it's Because if you think about it, you go to Florida, PA. That's why a lot of rappers is going over there, because yeah, us rappers them, is not even like. We not we not cops or nothing. We have we have to protect ourselves. People is coming and people watch our stories all day trying to get our jewelry, shit like that. Our money, they want to see where our whereabouts. Not even just it's more. I ain't gonna lie, you flexing the bread. It's not helping your situation, gang. But you know what I'm saying. Right. You <laughs> do you. You situation. Ain't just jewelry and money. Sometimes they just want you. Mm, you gotta right, be able to protect you yourself. How y'all want us to be? Feel me? It's not even making that's sense. The thing they don't. And that's why everybody leaving. And if you're not leaving, you just. Your yeah, head chopped off. There's no way you out here a millionaire and you still in New York. Shit don't make sense to me. I don't know how niggas is doing that. 
I could never. Where did my get dad? Security, nigga, pay top I'm breach. Wrong. That's the dumbest shit you probably could do. You gonna get tricked out your spot. Feel me? I done wouldn't seen it make, with my own eyes. Feel me? W- wouldn't that make the streets more spicy though? If everybody got a gun? I don't think so. Not everybody, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> I already know where this video is gonna go. I'm gonna I'm I'm skip through after after I make this point. The crime rate is not gonna spike up. You know why? Because every single time that you interact with another nigga, you, you knowing that the 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 the, the gun laws is where it's a, to the point where shit is legal to have and open to carry. Niggas gonna be hesitant to make re- to to make a, a situation, but for the simple fact that this shit can go 50-50. This nigga might have a gun. I know I got a gun. I know I'm gonna shoot. I don't know what this person gonna do. They might just, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like it's not gonna go as crazy as people think. Because like, oh yeah, I got a gun, he got a gun, I'm gonna shoot. Niggas is gonna be like, I got a gun, he got a gun. This shit could go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna be a little bit more cautious. You're gonna be a little more tactical. You wanna actually start using your brain. Because niggas don't wanna die. Let's keep it a bean. If the reason why a lot of these shit be happening, because niggas be thinking like, oh, he's pussy, he don't got a gun, so I'm a shoot, or, or they just feel as though they got the ups or the odds, uh, you know what I'm saying? But if they know in the back of their mind, like, yo, this nigga might have a gun, I might go about this whole situation, I might defuse the situation, I might go about this whole shit differently, you know what I'm saying? So that's very important also to take into consideration. I wonder what he gonna say, though. You know, the people who can have a gun, yeah. it's like, because people act off emotion sometimes, and they don't think that's of real fact. logic. That's a fact, but you gotta think about it. You saying it, it would make the streets more spicy, regardless the streets is already spicy. That's true. Everybody who's not supposed to have a gun already got a gun. So it's like, what you, like, it, it's not, it's already spicy, it's no, it's no going back. It's too late. That's like when the mayor was saying, that's like when the mayor was saying, um, drill music, drill music is the reason why everybody dying and shit. This shit been happening. 2003, all that 2004, 2005, niggas been dying. What do you mean? Yeah. Just just cause we rapping and we getting we making limits off of it and the shit like that. Now y'all mad? Like, nah, yeah, I understand we are not supposed to make it for. <laughs> <laughs> y'all want the only option to be school or or sports, but shit happens. There's other ways. Like just cause niggas is getting money doing it this way doesn't mean that necessarily everything is coming from here. Cause it was gonna happen regardless. Niggas. I kind of agree with that point to a, to a degree. Like I kind of. Kind of like that point a little bit. I ain't before this shit. So it's like, I don't know. Definitely when niggas make it. And the only option was school and ball. And it's more, it's way more fucking options out there. But this, again, the environment definitely can entrap you. Like, if you don't know, or you don't see, fuck if you don't know, you can know all you want. If you don't see sure shit, like, yeah, you can read about this or hear this part. What, doctor? Ooh, you never seen it before unless you go to the doctor or unless you're in that courtroom. But until you see, like, all right, yeah, damn, we got to. We got a doctor from our neighborhood. Like I could go talk to him about something. We got a lawyer from our neighborhood. Or we got a we got a fucking uh, a neuroscientist. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like when you, when kids see shit like that, and when people see shit like that growing up, it literally shapes their mind differently. Like all right, I don't gotta go this way because I seen the shit that can come from where I'm from or can't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get too much of that because I go on a whole rant about that kind of shit. I'm very passionate about my people. And listen, man, y'all be at safety game. Stay safe out here. Fuck that. No, stay dangerous out here. Be smart. Don't do nothing stupid, man. Don't let nobody trick y'all out of position. That's just not for the rappers. That's for all y'all, bro. Take care of yourself, man. Be smart. And you know what I'm saying? Think for the future, bro. Don't think for the think for the future, bro. Word up. So, yeah, man. Shout out to this young man. He's saying because some 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 shit I agree with. But, yeah, I'm going to let y'all niggas go. Bow, man. We out of here. What the fuck going on?